Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to the channel where we mainly focus on drone education, especially for beginners. And in doing that, I review a lot of budget beginner micro drones. There's some good ones out there, there's some bad ones out there, but there's a new king of the hill. And it's this one, the 40RC V5. They call it the XO Lfish or something. I'm just going to call it the V5. If you've watched my videos, I've always said that the HS210 is the best beginner drone, but it doesn't have modular batteries. I really like the Holyton 330. But guys, these were $37 on Amazon. This one right now is $19 on Amazon. If you look, there's two different links. One says it's $29, but there's 30% off. But with this link, and I'll post it below and it helps the channel, um, it's $19. So it comes with multiple batteries, a really nice remote, flies fantastic. Don't take my word for it. I'm gonna take it outside to show you outside and inside how great it flies. I never had to set the trim. You get about seven and a half minutes of flight time. It lights up. And I reviewed a few other drones recently that light up. But look how small this thing is. I mean, this thing is made for indoors. It's very flexible. So if you crash it, it doesn't seem to hurt it. It's not very loud. It flies for seven and a half minutes. It's got a lot going for it, especially for under $20. So people mainly buy these drones for two reasons. One, they're looking for a toy for their kids or their grandkids, and they think it'd be cool to get a drone. But if you watch my channel, my main purpose of budget beginner drones is to learn the orientation of a drone. So I've shown this guy a hundred times on my channel. People usually spend a thousand, two thousand dollars on a drone. They come home with something like this because they used to have an RC boat or a car and think that they can fly it. Well, guys, these sit on four axis, and the controllers on this one is the same as a big drone. So if you learn how to fly this one first, it's much more safer for you, the drone, and everyone around you. Because these drones, they pitch forward and back, they go up and down, they roll left and right, and they yaw left and right. So that's eight different directions that this drone can go, not just not just left and right. So it takes a little while to hone your skill set to your subconscious takes over and you can fly this drone. And once you can fly this one, then it's much safer to fly a bigger drone and spend a lot more money, but learn on one of these budget beginner drones. So I'm the director of training and education for AUVSI. And on the 27th this month, I'm speaking at the Women in Aviation's conference. And there'll be a bunch of teenagers there and I'm supposed to bring some drones and try to teach them how to fly. Well, guess which one I'm bringing? This one. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of these because for $19, this thing flies fantastic. But don't take my word for it. Let's go put her up in the air. Then I'll come back down and I'll sit down and I'll show you how to get the remote bound to the drone, get the gyro set and some functions of the drone. Then I'll tell you my final review on this, on the new king of these micro mini drones. All right, let's see how she does outside. There's just a little bit of wind. So we'll go straight to speed three. Speed three. <laughs> that's pretty good. Look at that. Test the range. Yeah, that's probably 50 yards. It's about as far as the range will go. It just landed. That's nice to know. When you go out of range, it just lands. As I get closer, see if it'll take back off. There we go, see? We think we're still on speed three. Let's try the flip. There's a flip. One more time. <laughs> it does short flips. Lots of, lots of times they take a lot of room to, to do a flip. You know, I think I would plan on doing that. Just put a little spot of red paint on the front, especially if you're gonna fly it in outdoors. Man, this thing is really quick. Wind's picking up a little bit. It's got good speed though. If it's windy outside, you're not gonna be able to fly it outside, but there's just a little bit of wind. Let's try the speed turn button. There's the spin button. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's try this, the long press. Then there's the circle. <laughs> and press any button and it comes out of it. All right, so she passes the outdoor test. Man, I can't believe this thing's 20 bucks. And what a beautiful way to learn how to fly a drone. I would definitely paint a little red spot on the front of it. Maybe your mom's nail polish or something like that. Woo! There's absolutely no latency in the controls. This thing flies fantastic. <laughs> Watch the, let's try this. Yep, see, that'll knock it down. For some reason, if it ever doesn't want to take off on you, just turn it 
Just turn the remote on and off and then bind it again and then reset your, your gyros again. This is me not doing any controls whatsoever. This is how it's holding position. Really, really good. None of them are gonna sit completely still like a GPS drone, but I'm not even putting any input into it and it's doing really good. You can bump it. It's gonna just gonna hold its position. All right, so let's try the spin. <laughs> That's really cool. I don't know why I like that so much. All right, a long press. And there's the circle. Oh, I'm gonna go put, I gotta go into a dark room and do this. So here we are in a little bit darker room. I'm gonna hit the spin button. <laughs> Man, this thing flies really good. All right, this is this is the new king right here, and it's got it's wearing its crown. Man, they have really made a really good drone with this thing for 20 bucks. This is me not putting any input into the controls and this is how good it's doing. That's pretty cool. Let's try to crash it. And that's what it does. It doesn't hurt it at all. All right, guys, fantastic. All right, so let's sit down and I'll go over all the functions of the drone. All right, let's see what she weighs in at. She weighs in at 25 grams, which is just barely under the Holy Stone HS210 and the Holy 10 330 weighs just a little bit more at 31 grams. So it's quite a bit more than some of these bigger drones that I was showing you, uh, a 64 for the Hey Jello. So how much is 25 grams? Well, 25 grams is about the weight of five pieces of delicious taffy from Rock Fizz. Oh wait, no it's not, it's the... It's the same weight as four pieces of taffy from you know, Rock Fish. Well, the drone comes in this really nice case. Uh, just It doesn't come in a carrying case like a lot of the other 40RCs. So this one doesn't have the camera. And if you watch my review on this 40RC, this is the worst camera I've ever seen. But if you look, they actually have the same controllers. Even though this one does come with the camera, so it's $10 more. I wouldn't spend the money on the one with the camera. But if you really want it, it's $10 more. Look how flexible these sides are. I mean, this thing seems it's going to be pretty durable. And it's really not as loud. That other 40RC was the loudest mini drone I've ever reviewed. So they are modular batteries. You get two of them. And on the charger, this little light is red. And then when it gets done charging, it goes off. If you unplug it, it'll stay red. So you take those off when you're done. So with the completely charged up battery, I let it hover in place and it got about seven and a half minutes of flight time. It started blinking at me at five and a half minutes and then it landed at seven and a half. Most of these little mini drones, they only last about five minutes. So this is pretty good. As you saw, the light started blinking at me at five and a half minutes and it landed at seven minutes. So to put it on, you just put that right there. You step it, you turn it on here. Like I said, I would definitely put some of your mom's fingernail polish, maybe right here and right here to try to get orientation of it because when it's flying around, it's kind of hard to tell what's the front and the back, even though it does have these cool lights that are red in the back and blue in the front. But as you saw when I was flying it outside, you can't really see these lights, even though they're really pretty bright inside. So you turn on the remote and right now it will not take off if I hit this takeoff button because it's not bound to the drone. So what you have to do to bind it every single time is to go up and down on this left stick. So you go up and down. Now it's bound to it and it'll take off, but it's not gonna fly right because the gyros aren't set. So make sure it's sitting on a flat surface and then hold down on this bottom button right here. And do that but every time before you take off, especially after a crash. So on the top, there's three speeds. You got, uh, it'll start out in speed one. That's speed two. Speed three, uh, start out in speed one, but if you're flying outside and there's any kind of wind whatsoever, go straight to speed three. This is your flip button. These are your trim buttons. What that means, if it's sliding to the right or the left while you're flying it around, you can adjust it. I didn't have to adjust it at all. So all you do is you just press down on one of these until it gets to where it needs to be flying. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it. Right here is headless mode and return to home. Don't ever use that. Your whole point of this, headless mode takes away the orientation of this drone. The whole point of buying a beginner drone is to learn how to fly it correctly. If you, fly to, if you learn how to fly in headless mode, it'll mess up your subconscious when you try to learn how to fly it right. And return to home, it's not a GPS drone, it's just gonna fly into the wall. So don't ever even touch this button. This one, a short press makes it spin and the long press makes it do those big circles. And then of course, this is your takeoff 
off and landing button. You can also take off by just pushing up or pulling down. So um, if you want to press it, now that it's bound, you can just press up and, and, it'll, and it'll start the motors and then you can push up. Because if you push this button, it's going to take off and go to about three feet. If you just start the motors and push up, then you can control of how high it's going to go. But if you just push this button, it just takes off. <laughs> If you ever want to grab it, you just grab it and turn it over. It did come with extra props, but it did not come with the proper removal tool. So you got to be really careful when you pull these off that you don't that you, that you don't pull that motor out. It, it'll be worthless. And they are labeled very small, right in the corner, right there. So they're A and B. So make sure you get the right ones on because if you put on the wrong ones, it's not going to fly. It'll probably just flip over. Cool little drone. I'm really happy with it. And if you saw, it's really about the same size as the HS210 and the Holyton 330, but I gotta put this one at the top of the list for the price. I mean, these are in the 35 to $37 range, and this one's $20. This one flies just as good. I was really impressed. I've always said the HS210 is the best, but look, these modular batteries, you gotta hook this little thing in there every time and slide this battery in and out, and that's kind of a pain. Where this one, guys, this just, they just pop in and out, it's so easy especially with little hands. Kids are gonna have a blast with this, or even a kid like me. I love flying these mini drones. All right, so let's go back for our final review. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my review of the 40RC V5 XOL Fish. I just call it the V5. So there is one that comes with the camera. It's $10 more, but don't buy it. If you saw my other reviews on the 40RC with the cameras, they were horrible. They were the worst cameras I've ever seen. If you want a drone with a the camera, then, get the, then go for the Holy Stone HS330. For under $50, this thing has a really good camera. So a couple of things. Guys, it has covered props. You don't have to worry about it. Like, you know, like these drones, if these brushed motors get in a bind, it burns the motors up. So you can wreck this thing up probably a couple hundred times and not have to worry about it. It's got really good flight time. It's got modular batteries and it's under $20. I mean, this thing's a really nice surprise, especially the way the economy is right now to have one of these under $20. So you don't have to go out and spend 37 to get a really good micro mini drone because there's some really bad ones out there. So I'm really happy that this one's on the market. And guys, I don't care if you got a hundred drones, this thing's going to be a blast to have around. I'm going to give these to all my drone buddies. They're going to laugh, but when they put this up in the air, I promise you they're going to have a huge smile on their face because this thing's so much fun to fly around the house, especially if you haven't flown a drone for a while. It's kind of like if you hadn't played golf, you go to the ring. You got to go practice for a while before you go play, right? Well, the same thing with flying a drone. You want to go fly this one around a little bit until you get your skill set back up so you don't crash your big drone. So guys, as always, if you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. If you get this, tell me how much you enjoy it. I promise you're going to love it. And I'll see you in the next one.